Diabetic macular edema is a condition in which the macula is, uh, that's the center of the vision, the center of the retina is swollen. Uh, this is uh, caused by the diabetes, uh, making the blood vessels inside the eye leaking. This definitely has a severe impact on your vision. This is actually the most common reason why diabetics lose vision. Um, the, it is critical that this be treated. Um, treatments include lasers, they can include injections of several different kinds of medications, but above all it is pivotal that you control your blood sugar and your blood pressure. It's not always the uh, exciting answer, but it is the mainstay of treatment. Uh, importantly, it is not always obvious to the patient that you have macular edema or that you might have diabetes affecting your eyes in other ways. Sometimes it is noticeable, but sometimes it could be other things such as cataract formation, which is of course much more benign. So another important thing is for you to come in for your yearly routine examination or perhaps more frequently depending on the circumstances so that your eye care professional can check you. Typically a patient may experience some distortion of their vision, perhaps uh, one eye or the other is a little bit more blurry than it used to be. Uh, sometimes you can notice floaters, but that wouldn't necessarily be diabetic macular edema, that could be diabetic retinopathy. Very commonly people come in for routine screening, and, and again, without belaboring the point, uh, it is picked up on examination earlier than what you would have otherwise noted as a patient. And that is crucial because if you catch it before it affects you and your quality of life, early treatment and early intervention can make a much larger impact than if you're trying to play catch up. Uh, diabetic macular edema is diagnosed uh, with a fundus examination and it's really critical that this is a dilated fundus examination to give you the most detail that you can get looking at this, uh, at the retina as a whole. Uh, in addition to this, there are some ancillary testing, uh, including optical coherence tomography, which is, gives you structural information as a scan of the back of the eye and see exactly where the swelling is and the extent, uh, as well as tracking changes in the swelling over time. Um, otherwise, there's also something called a fluorescein angiogram, where they give you a vegetable dye in your veins and see it circulating through the vessels in the eye uh, on uh, serial photographs taken over time. Now, you have to keep in mind, this is a disease of the blood vessels, and you want to see where the pathology is coming from, uh, where it is leaking the most, and also to help tailor treatment specific to that person and to that eye. Well, treatment really uh, falls into two broad categories. Uh, first category is, is uh, laser treatment. Uh, we call that focal photocoagulation, where you find and uh, essentially cauterize the small little leaking uh, blood vessels in the hopes that your eye can then recover on its own over time. This helps to preserve vision. Additionally, there's also injections of multiple different classes of uh, medication directly into the eye, which sounds like a daunting prospect, but usually with the proper numbing in place is actually quite manageable and tolerable for the patient. Um, this has actually been shown in addition to stabilizing the vision over the long run, it can also help improve the vision and, and lead to a better quality of life.